Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Playing Sukoden 4. In the last episode, we got, um, well, we did some stuff. I don't remember exactly. We beat Snow's army, I think. And, uh, yeah. He was crying about being a bitch. Anyways, in this episode, we're actually gonna head off to our next destination, which is Eleanor's place. As you can see, I've leveled up Sigurd. Sigurd, Hervey, and Dario, because we're going to be using them. I believe I'm at the pirate, the nest of pirates, so we're going to head off to the Hermitage Cave or island so that we can meet Lady Eleanor Silverberg. So, first thing I want to do, as you can see, I sailed from Ilya all the way down here so that I could uh, get over here. Anyways, let's come over here. Let's just have a go this way, and then we'll do a turn, because apparently they don't like when I turn like that. Anyways, there's a couple of islands where actually I'm actually going to go to a little later. Can I? Can I? There we go. Anyways, there's a couple of islands I plan on going to a little later. Let's show off these guys. First thing I want to do is show off this cool combo attack that I collected with these guys. This kind of reminds me uh, a little bit of the uh, combo attack we had with Snow back in the beginning. Now, the thing about Sigurd, he actually has the water room on him. He's actually a fairly confident water room user. Uh, Dario really doesn't have anything. I like Sigurd that he can use Kirby that he can actually use two attacks. Which is pretty nice. Um, what else? So I like Sigurd. He's a good healer guy. I don't really, uh, I really don't use him too much. Except for some, some points, I guess. Maybe just keep using regular points. I don't know why the doctor has to heal this up. But yeah, he's a fairly, uh, he's a pretty good, um, healer. Oh, I can just use the analog stick to move my, move my thing around. Right now. Anyways, here we are on Hermitage Island, or we're going to Hermitage Island, and we automatically uh, have Hervey. We're automatically taking Hervey, Sigurd, and uh, <coughs> Dario. I don't know why Dario's coming, but whatever. Anyway, Sigurd and Hervey kind of uh, they kind he kind of play, they kind of play the part of um, you know like Mik Miklatov and Camus and. Flick and Victor, and, uh, who was it in the second game, in the third game? Kind of like the two bros who, the two dudes who are, like, close and all that. And they, they like, hang out. They're, they're pretty tight. Anyways, we got some nice music here. I'm, d I'm just walking a little weirdly so we can get into some new enemies. So fight some new enemies here. Pirate attack. <laughs> Because I want to bring that up some if I can, and if not, oh well, I guess. So here we are. And it looks like it's abandoned. Is this really the house that the tactician Eleanor lives in? Man, what a dump. This is no place for a human to live. What an inconsiderate thing to say! Whoa. Huh? You think you can just come barging in here saying that this is no place for a human to live? This is beyond rude! Explain yourselves immediately! Uh, no. What I mean is... Super defensive. Uh, sorry. Right away. Uh, so it's you. Yeah, it's me. Laszlo. So, uh, we could say either or... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna say Miss Eleanor. You're quite young. No, my name is Agnes. I am Lady Eleanor's pupil. I also take care of her. Oh, so you take care of the place while the master's away? 
I received a word from Lady Kika. Please, make yourselves at home. All right. Well, thanks. But we came to see Miss Eleanor. Yeah, we did. You like meat, yes? Uh... What? Well, yes, of course, but... I will bring some food and drink. Please, have as much as you like. I shall go and get Lady Eleanor now. Can't we, uh, like, go inside? Uh, yes. Why do we Thank gotta, you. Why do we gotta eat out? Listen to me, Hervey. Don't drink too much, okay? You won't be able to warn Dari about his drinking if you do. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I know, I know. Someone call me? But yeah, like, can't we eat inside, like, decent human beings rather than something? But anyways, classic Sukaden. Good. From Sukaden Looks 1. Looks like it did well. They, you they were such they simple poisoned. people, so it was I easy. They sort of poison <laughs> us. I've always said... People are better when they're simple. And yeah, this is Eleanor Silverberg. Now, now. What did you want with Eleanor? Uh, I can't eat anymore. Definitely simple. And just what did you want to discuss with Eleanor? Uh, uh, fight. With Kuluk. Ugh, more talk of war. You can fight it out amongst yourselves. I've had enough. <laughs> How about you? You want war too? Beat Cray Trading Company? Oh, that's my justice. <laughs> Won't let them catch any more mermaids. Cray. Oh, I see. Graham Cray. <laughs> now I understand why Kika sent these guys over. It looks like Lazarus. Looks wasn't like hurt. Eleanor's special drug isn't very effective on you. I'm impressed. How about you and I? I have another round inside. So yeah, it looks like Eleanor likes to drink a, a lot. But yeah, this is classic Sukuden 1, you know, how they poisoned uh, Tur and his group back in the day, you know. There's a couple scenes like Go that. Go ahead, drink. Don't worry. There's nothing weird in that one. It'll clear your head, so gulp it down. Oh, cool. Nothing like drinking with a lady. So basically, Kuluk has joined forces with Cray Trading Company. That explains what happened to Ilya the other day. Hmm. I hear all these things, even in a place this secluded. So what is it that you want me to do? I'd like you to join us. It doesn't matter what you say. <sighs> Listen here. The tactician Eleanor Silverberg died a long, long time ago. Well... <sighs> but if you plan to bring her back from the dead, you'd better be prepared to pay for it. So how about it? Let's see how determined you are. Behind this building, there is a cave. Bring me everything in the box there. If you do a good job, I will consider helping you. Now hurry up and go. All right, so here we are in Eleanor's room. I think we can explore it a little bit and take some things. Maybe not. Lock the door. So yeah, now they're gonna send me out to the forest. Head back to the forest, search the chest outside the building for a mega medicine. Hey. So 
yeah, we're doing this solo right now. And skunk orbs. What well, skunk orb does, I think it it keeps uh, monsters from attacking you. So whether it be uh, physical or magical or something like that, or something, I forget. But skunk orb kind of keeps uh, monsters away from you. So yeah, the, the music here is kind of low, but it's kind of nice. Anyways, th these are some new enemies here, Leaf guys. Apparently we're still fighting shrubbery. But whatever, let's go into this cave in the back. And, uh oh, big giant monster. Oh, he's gonna take me on, huh? This guy should be pretty easy. So what we want to do against this guy, just use a couple of uh, eternal ordeals. This guy's got 700 HP. Yeah, he does about 60 damage. If you get below 100, you can heal yourself. I'll probably heal myself after this turn. Well, maybe not. What the hell? Um, I'll just attack. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Pretty much done. Can we get a horn, earth rune piece? Very nice. Let's just heal ourselves up. Because apparently our um, view is not with us. So let's head to the cave. Uh, search the desk at the end of the path to the green. Search the wine pots located on the right for a treasure map. Yeah, the music in here is pretty nice, too. Um, and we got a treasure map. A green bottle and a crest. Exit the cave, go back, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's go. We. I don't think there's any enemies in here. I could be wrong. Anyways, let's head back to Eleanor. Yeah, so Eleanor, she act, she kind of has a similar background like Matthew Silverberg. Ooh. Let's, uh, let's not F around with these guys. Anyway, she has a similar background to uh, um, Matthew in the essence of she used to be a tactician for the Scarlet Moon Empire. And what I'm happening, she, I'll explain a little later the incident, but she was involved in an incident where many, many, many people were massacred. And after that, she's like, uh, yeah, this totally leaves a bad taste in my mouth. I'm out of here. Anyways, uh... We got everything. Let's go back and see her. Talk to Agnes. You hand over the green mom. Blah, 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 blah. So yeah, the green bottle will heal those uh, the guys. Okay, Agnes. Serve that to the guys outside. It'll make them feel better. Yes, my lady. And then I got you this crest thing. You, give that to me. This is the crest of Birdman. The crest, the crest, the crest, the crest, the crest, the crest. I didn't expect you to actually do it. Well, Very well, die. then. I've seen how truly determined you are. A fight against Kuluk and Cray Trading Company won't be pretty. Are you absolutely sure about this? Yeah, I'm pretty. I, you know what? I am super sure. Is that so? Well then, it's my turn now, isn't it? A promise is a promise. Well, thank I you, suppose Elmer. I can help you. Thank you. But let me drink a little more. When I'm ready, I'll join you on your ship. Alright. Thanks a lot. Alright, 
right, so let's uh, open. No, nope, we don't want to go to the forest. And now here we are in the dirt floor room. We can actually explore some stuff over here. Some over here we can get something. But yeah, I like the music here. It's relaxing. What the hell? Isn't there something over here? There's some on the stove. We get a crab bun. <laughs> Search the stove for a crab bun and rest in her room for free. And... Inside the small. Oh, I guess Agnes is joining us too. Anyways, let's get this chest here. This is a copper hammer. Inside the small shed, there's a chest containing a treasure map. And search well for the earth orb, and that's it. Then we're pretty much done. So if we come over here, we get an earth orb. How nice. So let's use our magic map. Um, yeah, magic map. One of my playing kings does. Oh, he can't use it. Strawberry never, never too, not too bad. Leveling up, fighting off shrubbery. So look at that beautiful ship out there. Let's get on it. Yes, I would like to return. And it looks like Lino is coming over here to talk. Maybe he's got to speak with Eleanor about something. That's what I'm assuming. I mean, why the hell would he come on? Why the hell would he come on the ship? So now let's anchor. And what you want to do here is save your game. Also, heal up if you haven't. It's a good idea to do so. Anyways, let's go. And, uh... I guess we'll head to the war room. Which I think is on the second floor. Yeah, but before we go, let's check the comment box. Anything new? Bad humans catch them soon. Once we enter the war room, we're going to actually uh, get into a... Ah, what the hell? I'll make this episode a little longer. Yeah, we're going to get into a duel. We're going to actually talk with uh, our crew here. These are basically everyone that you can recruit for the time being. Not including any side Sorry characters. to keep you waiting. So, this ship is your home base. <laughs> it's decent. Lady Eleanor, a room has also been prepared for you. Thanks. Don't forget to stock my room with wine. It'd be great if you have some from Conacon. Anyway, enough pleasantries for now. Let's get down to business. So what is it? To even stand a chance against Kuluk. First, we'll have to unify the small forces on the islands around here. In order to do that, we have to have one strong leader. Hmm. Let's see if you're a real leader. 
There are probably many here who would rather follow the king. Are there? I wonder. I know. You will settle this now with Lino and Kuldus. Sire, would you also be fine with that? Yeah. We only need one leader. All right. Well, uh, may the best man win. So now we're gonna have to have a duel against Lena. Okay, first we'll see how things go. After we get warmed up, I'm going all out. So keep your eyes open. All right. Well, I guess I'll scare you a bit. All right. So that sounds like he's going to do a special guard full power. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so, there, buddy. Guess I'll start getting serious now. Oh, looks like you want to do another one. Let's do dark. <laughs> yeah, Lino, you're no chance, man. I'm kicking the shit. It's out. my turn next. Uh, you know what? I'm doing a special. Look at this attack. <laughs> Laszlo just kicked the shit out of him in three moves. <sighs> okay, okay. Stop. I give up. It's all right, though, buddy. <sighs> Everyone, listen up. As of now, the current king of Obel will temporarily abdicate the throne. Yay or no? You are our new leader. I, the former king of Obel, acknowledge you. This is proof of your kingship. Use it wisely. Wait a minute. I'm the king? It's good to be the king. I got a donut. From now on, he's in command of this ship. You are to obey his orders. Oh, man. Thank you for the honor. So now we gain the golden seat. Now, you know what? I'm actually going to stop the video here, but in the next episode, we're going to name our ship. I got to think it's a good name. We're going to name our ship. We're going to name our army, and then we're going to get more party members. So this has been Kenshin1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.